Um, you know, um, probably top three tips on the spawn, you know, number one is cover lots of water. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get caught up fishing for the first fish you see, you know, would be, you know, roam around and, you know, see how they're setting up. Are there pairs? Are there singles? Uh, um, number two would be, don't be afraid to fish for dirty water. Once you find them in clear water, then go to the dirty water and target the, you know, the same type mm -hmm. of area where you saw those fish. A lot of times those fish in the dirty water will be a little easier to catch. Mm -hmm. You won't have to visually fish for them. Um, number two would be, don't count out moving baits for mm -hmm. uh, when certain conditions are right you can always catch spawning fish on moving baits whether it be a swim jig a crankbait a spinnerbait uh, a frog but just under certain conditions you know the weather gets right makes those fish a little more susceptible to a mm -hmm. moving bait rather than just throwing plastics on sure. them. Sure. Top three tips for the spawn of uh, shallow water fishing mm -hmm. obviously uh, you need to fish shallow around the spawn Typically, you need to get in bays or coves. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get into the bays or coves, bait choices, um, Yamamoto Senko, if you can't see them. Mm -hmm. It's an excellent bait for covering water. Uh, if you're looking for fish that are actually spawning, it's a great bait to throw ahead of the boat and don't do anything with it. You're looking and in the water for spawning fish. You're looking for cruising fish. Let that bait sink to the bottom while you're looking and reel it in. If you go to reel it in and there's something on there, you set the hook. If there's not, you reel it in and cast again. Uh, then once you find bedding fish, then I'm gonna use a Texas rig with a Yamamoto flapping hog. Depending on where I'm at, if I want a smaller bait, I use a three inch. Mm -hmm. It's actually a three and three quarter inch. Uh, if it's a bigger body of water or lake that has bigger prey, bigger fish, then I'm gonna go with the, the four and three quarter mm -hmm. ones, a little bit bigger one. So two sizes of flapping hog, both on a quarter ounce head. Mm -hmm. Texas rig with probably 20 pound test. The spinning, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the Sanko, I'm gonna probably throw on a spinning outfit with braided line, 12 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'll most likely throw that wacky rig. Mm -hmm. um, but the best thing about that is you cast it out and do not touch it, slack line. It does all the work for you. That's mm -hmm. the whole design of the Yamamoto Sanko mm -hmm. is, is how it falls. So the fish, you know, can't resist that bait. It's by far the number one bait around the spawn. Number one, always wear a good pair of sunglasses and have different shades. I, you don't necessarily have to spend two, three hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses. I wear Wiley X. There's a lot of great brands out there, but have you know different shades. You know, have a gray, have a amber, have a brighter, a brighter like a, a yellow. Give you a couple different looks at what those fish are doing, and you can see a couple inches or a foot deeper. That's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, another thing fish slower because those fish sometimes they're a little finicky when you get around there fish slower when you get in those areas where those fish are spawning especially when you can't see them and last but not least don't be afraid to throw a top water when the bass are, are spawning a lot of times they're very territorial and what's above them because they don't want a bluegill or a shad or a minnow or anything around them so that's one of my things that i'll throw a, a, a extra prop mm -hmm. or a skitter walk skitter pop something like that to draw their attention they'll come up there and actually eat it because they're protecting their beds mm -hmm. Top three tips for the spawn, I would say, is one, all fish don't spawn at the same time. You know, you may hear or see lots of fish up shallow. For every fish that you see up shallow, there's generally that many more back behind you. So uh, keep that in mind. Two, quiet. you got to be quiet. If you are actually up there fishing, the more quiet, the more stealthy you can be, the more success you're going to have. You know, make long casts. Uh, keep all the, the noise to a minimum in your, in your boat. Don't be set, you know slamming lids or trolling motor on and off. So you know be very very stealthy. And then last is uh, uh, you know just if you're visually sight fishing for spawning fish, you know you can you know like how long it takes when you flip in that bed and and a fish comes in there and then he leaves. Think about that when you're fishing muddy water, because you know not they don't you know all the lakes that we all fish they're not all clear where you mm -hmm. can see them. But by doing it when it's clear and you can see how long it takes, think about that when you're flipping muddy water to let that bait sit in there a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're flipping bushes or docks, you know so many of us go down the bank and we flip it, let it go to the bottom. You know you picture a bed there and you pick it up once, check it, no bite, and you reel it in and you do it again. <laughs> During the spawn, a lot of times that's when I. I'm going to leave it in there, you know, twice as long as I ever would, and you, you ever was, and you're going to be amazed how many more bites you get. Top top three tips for the spawn um, is uh, is for me. I, I love to fish a wacky worm during the spawn, you know. So if I'm just going down the bank looking for fish, and even when I'm actually sight fishing, I'll use a wacky worm a lot. Number two would be to use a top water. 
Um, I catch a lot of fish on a topwater bait, namely that storm cover pop that I caught a 9.9 on last year in the Bassmaster Classic. Nice. <laughs> so that would go a long way again this year. Um, but uh, but yeah, it would be to use a topwater bait sometimes. Those fish will just be extremely aggressive to it and you'll catch fish much easier that way. Um, number three would be to use a heavy bait, or a, not a heavy bait necessarily, but a big bait, something that's a big profile, especially when you're sight fishing a big bass. You know, I'm talking a five plus mm -hmm. pounder. Don't do that all the time with a real small bait. A big bait will make that fish much more aggressive. Really? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good tips. I'll use them myself. Okay. What are your top tips for the spawn? Yeah, we're getting into that time of the year yes, uh, when it's happening. The number one thing for me there is going to be identifying if it's a catchable fish or not. Mm -hmm. okay? And especially in a tournament situation where you got eight hours, it's important to be able to learn which ones you can actually catch. If that fish, if you are driving up to it and it just takes off like a bottle rocket and doesn't come back right away, probably gonna waste your time trying to catch that one. You want the ones that you drive by on 100 and it sits there and looks at you, those are the ones you wanna mm -hmm. chase after. Uh, the next thing is gonna be uh, identifying where that fish's sweet spot is because they all have a sweet spot. And I actually will create a grid system inside the bed that helps me break that down quicker and where that fish reacts mostly. Um, and then the other thing is going to be, you know, bait selection. Mm -hmm. What do you do to select the right bait? And you'll see fish that are hovering really close to the bottom and some that are kind of suspended up. When I see that, if they're close to the bottom, I'd try to choose a Texas rig or something mm -hmm. that's on the bottom. And if they're suspended up, a lot of times I'll throw a drop shot so that those fish don't have to change their position mm -hmm. to attack the bait. Top three sp tips for fishing a spawn. Um, using a very large swim bait to find spawning fish. Uh, so a seven inch to a, even up a 12 inch size bait will uh, pull fish from a long ways away. So to show you where the fish mm -hmm. are, a little tip. Um, and fishing a drop shot. Uh, so whatever your, your favorite Berkeley bait for me, uh, whether it be a lot of times it's a pit boss, but you can fish a drop shot either on a six pound test, but you can also put on a flipping stick with 25 pound test, but making sure you fish a drop shot. And third tip is for fish weightless. Uh, if you're just randomly casting, fishing a weightless worm, um, so I'm fishing the new general, wacky rigged. Uh, that slow weightless fall uh, on spawning fish is hard for them to resist. Uh -huh.